stop asking me if I am or when I'm gonna have a baby. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I'm gonna have one right now, okay? Hey, this is Scrolling With Me, Jay Hillwall of Little Mix. Biggest girl in the world, no big deal. Let's go. So first up, we have the iconic Brits moment. We won best group who made history as the first girl band to ever win this award in 43 years, which, guys, come on now, it's been too long. So yeah, obviously really, really proud of ourselves for getting this award, but it was a long time coming for girl bands in the history of the Brits. And that's why we gave them all a shout out uh, in our acceptance speech. So this award isn't just for us, it's for the Spice Girls, Sugar Babes, All Saints, Girls Aloud. <laughs> This one's for you. This is me doing the Buss It Challenge with my David Attenborough jumper on. I hope he doesn't mind. Hey! Now, actually, some people said I cheated because I held on to the bar, but um, don't care, so that's it. What's it? Oh my god. Oh, remember this phase? Don't you feel like in lockdown, like so many phases happened and just like came and went, like house party and stuff? This is one of them, that app when everyone made themselves look really old and wrinkly. And this was me, but to be honest, if that's me in like 50 years time, I'm not mad at that. Look all right, I think. But that's not my best facial expression. Next up we have the TikTok of me getting my cast made for my prosthetics for the confetti music video where the three of us dressed as the male versions of ourselves. A lot of people looked at this and were like, oh, that looks so suffocating. But obviously I have the two holes where my nose is. And dare I say, I strangely found it quite therapeutic. It was quite nice being locked out from the world. And it was quite cooling and satisfying. And apparently it's quite good for your skin. So, you know, if you go to the right place, huns, I'd recommend. This is a beautiful picture of me and Anne-Marie from the Kiss My Uh-Oh video shoot. Um, now, we wanted to work with Anne-Marie for such a long time and we finally got to do it. We adore her, she's amazing and it was so fun on the day. Obviously the girls, well bless them, really heavily pregnant. I think that was the last day of work for them. So they did the playing scene and then they had to skedaddle. And so it was left to just me and Anne-Marie to drink all night <laughs> and party. And that's what we did and it was really fun. Loved that video so much. Okay, next we have TikTok from the Love Sweet Love video. Me and the girls as sort of ethereal mother nature goddesses. We look stunning, if I don't say so myself. It was so nice wearing those major big crowns and the gowns and just giving it to the camera, serving it to you. Oh my God, remember when Leanne's Instagram was at Lee Love Life? <laughs> That's very Live Laugh Love, isn't it? <laughs> ah, Lee Love Life. So this is me and Leanne uh, at a Halloween event God, 2014. I mean, it says 1st November here because as usual, I'm always late to post. And this was me as Mystique from X-Men, but everyone just thought I was an avatar, so. Oh! This is from the 3rd of July, 2012, of me and Perry with some really cool sunglasses on. <laughs> Do you remember that phase and everyone was like wearing the craziest sunglasses? When like Kanye brought out them ones with the lions on and everyone had them and they were selling them like every market going. And then you also had like the Nicki Minaj ones, like the ski kind of vibes. And then obviously me with the pineapple pear. Oh, we look so cute here. So innocent and pure before the industry ruined us. Oh, this is from 2016. I posted this on Mother's Day of me and my mom on sports day. Look at me, I'm such a little nerd. You know, I've just realised this looks like, what's that meme of um, the cartoon when his fists like that? Oh, the oh, oh my God! Wearing the best as well. It's literally that meme, I can't. So this is me with my little circly glasses on. I've obviously, I've worn glasses all my life. And actually when I was little, I used to have to wear a pirate patch on my eye because I had a lazy eye. Which I, I thought was kind of cool because all my friends at school would like get a drawing pirate patch and so I didn't mind it, but on special occasions, I'd wear my glasses. And hence that day was sports day and I must have needed both eyes to, uh, to you know, do my thing. And that's my mum in a power suit on sports day. Come on. This is um, a TikTok of me. This was a bit of a trend on TikTok. 
where you run away from something and it says when all your mates are having babies and they ask when it's your turn. Which I'm sick of! Stop asking me if I am or when I'm gonna have a baby. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I'm gonna have one right now, okay? <laughs> Sorry guys, don't kill me there. I get it, because obviously it's a natural question to ask, but we shouldn't always assume that that's going to be the case. I'm very happy with where I am in my life, and I'm very happy with where the girls are in their life, and that's all there is to it. Ah, oh, this was uh, August 2016 when we performed at the festival and we invited Craig David on stage, absolute legend. And yeah, I think, what did we do on stage? I think we did Fill Me In, which went down an absolute storm, obviously. And he is so lovely. And one memory I have of that day is him thanking us for bringing him on stage and giving us all a big giant bar of galaxy chocolate each. I was like, oh, thanks, hon. And then I went straight home and melted it and had some strawberries. This was us when we met Selena Gomez at a dinner party. She looks like one of the group, actually. She fits in very well. So actually, this dress that I'm wearing on is a liar dress. It was very expensive. And I went into Harrods last minute looking for an outfit. And obviously, I don't, sometimes I don't really look like a star, I suppose. I just like wearing tracksuits on a day off. And I went in and the staff was so horrible to me and really snobby that I felt I had to prove a point in my address. <laughs> and I just think it's a stupid thing to do. I've learned my lesson since, but it was very much like pretty woman moment where I was like, actually, yeah, I can, I can buy one of them dresses. Or like, do you know who that designer is? I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. And so I bought it and I was like, oh. And I've never worn it since, so lesson learned there to not prove a point to everyone. Oh, 2015, this was a fan who put together a picture of me and next to a picture of Princess Jasmine. And I adore Princess Jasmine. Um, as a young Arab girl, she was probably the only positive representation I had growing up. So she was always my favorite princess. Um, so anytime I get like into it is a win. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You've been scrolling with me, Jade Thirlwall. For heart. This is heart.